quick little project, folks. This tiny black buck antler that I stole from a friend, basically. When he found it, it was very rotted. As you can see, there's a piece that's broken out right here. I used a belt sander and ground it down a lot of it. Then I went to a razor knife and just kept pulling on it all around until I smoothed it out and got all that dead material off. Then I went to various sandpapers and just sanded it and sanded it and smoothed it down. I bought a bottle opener and broke the handle off. And I'm going to end up bending this and I'm going to turn this into a bar top bottle opener. Buffet's pretty easy. Apply some compound, buff away until the green mostly disappears and you get a good shine. You see how it puts all the compound on there and then you just buff around and buff it all off and shine her up. You get the idea. Gonna be adding a lot of weight up front. I need some weight to counterbalance it. So I just got this shaft of metal. I'm gonna dump that way down. It's gonna give me a little wedge of paper. I'm gonna try to jam that way down in there with it too. Yeah, it makes it good and heavy on this lower end. History of the horn. I'm gonna cram this down inside and nobody is ever gonna be able to get to it. Nobody but me is gonna know what this says. If it was up high, it would roll over. So I made sure all that weight was right here on the bottom where it's touching the table. Now I got me a stopper piece here that I gotta cram in there real good. And that's gonna keep my epoxy from getting down on there. Super glue to stiffen the paper and glue that in place. And the sheetrock screw to help hold that epoxy real good. You do about half that tube, soak that paper down real good. You see the paper all wet with the super glue and that screw. Then I took my bottle opener and I bent this tab just enough so I can get the angle I want to give it a snake look. I have a little circle of leather that I cut and fit to give me a cap right where I'm going to want it. I also have a little piece of wire come off of a dog collar actually. And I'll use that to help hold everything down inside. I need to put some tape over my holes and around the edge. And now I'm going to mix my epoxy and see if we can't get the snake to look right. It's going to overflow some, I'm sure. Somehow I need to get more in there. Just a little bit. I'm just kind of messing with it. I got to push push down on it, get some of that out because I got too much. What a bummer. It's still way too heavy in the front. I'm making a mess. I'll get back to you guys. Well, I had a little bit of epoxy on it here and there. Nothing too serious. Easy cleanup. A little bit of buffing again here and there. But I very, very overly misjudged the weight factor. I created a dead snake. <laughs> so back to the drawing board on that. Pull the tape off, clean that up, and then figure out what I'm going to do. Done deal. This thing's fantastic. It looks absolutely beautiful. Once I cleaned up all my excess leather and all the excess material around the top, and then I flattened out the bottom a little bit right here. Once I took care of all of that, this thing balanced out fantastically. It really did. I make all these creations and I never keep them. Time to return this one to the rightful owner from the guy I stole it from. He'll have good use for it. Popping those tops. Hit that like button, folks, if you like this video. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, y'all.